Torah Garden, speaking the absolute truth. Torah Nation. We better deep. We better deep. Listen. Hallelujah. Look at that baby. Look at that baby. The tears are going we made a deal. We made a deal. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. Hallelujah. 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 Live from uh, 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 right, come on. <laughs> hey, hey, right, right. So I'm still I still don't got no power, right? But I got my generator. So I get yeah. in and I'm like, uh, I wonder if the internet works. So I plug the plug from one of the different generators from the outlet into there, and bam, it lit up. I'm like, uh oh. <laughs> 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 and the rest uh, is history. Uh, <laughs> so, so uh, I'm here, man. I'm less, I'm here, and I y love you, who man. I hate when I can't see y'all. I really don't. Yeah. I, I really can't. I don't like it. I like when I see you. You know, I do. You know, I mean, I do. So I just praise the Most High. You know, He is the Deliverer. You know, oh. tribulation works. You know, and. Uh, you know, he knows how to bring you through it all. You know, he knows how to deliver you. So I'm glad to be amongst you today. Hallelujah. Wait. Wait. I am, I am, I am, I am. So, listen, how your day? How your week going, man? Man, you know, my, my week, my week move, my week move, move fast, move fast to work, but man, I'll, I love to about I love to slow it all down. I love to get this rest to get this word to, yeah, to, to reset it, man. I love it. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. How about you, Alicia? Tell you because she got a whole new world for me. I have my granddaughter, so it's been challenging. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, but you know what? You know, you will go give you everything you need to get that done. So Yeah, I'm not worried. I know he got me. You know, he gave you everything you need to get that job done. And 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 uh, you know, it works. <laughs> Cause you know, they're they gonna be trials. They're gonna be you know, they're gonna be things attached to that, but it works. Yeah. You know, I mean it works. And if you understand it with that perspective. You know uh -huh. that you're you gonna be all good. It it, it works. So you know. Yeah, I believe that. I know that for no 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 doubt in my mind. Yeah. He it always works. have. He always have made sure that I've been good. So. Man, hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's the fact. Well, it's on Mister Yaakov Ben Zion got all. <laughs> hallelujah. Today I open up with prayer. And uh, 
you know, unless you go in, you know, and do, 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 or give what you who gave you. You know, that one last week was, you know, JJ used to say in good times, dynamite. <laughs> that was do not move. <laughs> so, so look at here, look at here, look at here. I love you, man. I love you, and I love his words. So, you know, um, yeah. go ahead and uh, we're gonna we're gonna go in. I'm gonna pray, and then we're gonna trust uh, the Most High to give us a a Torah, a Torah, a Torah. And I know a Torah is coming. I know a Torah is coming. I need a Torah. So <laughs> a Torah's coming. Give me a Torah. Yahuwah, in the name of Yahusha Hamashiach, I give you praise because you have delivered your servant. You have brought him out unscathed. You have taken care of him by your mighty arm. You have put a bubble over me. And I praise you. I praise you. I praise you, Yahuwah for your delivering power. I thank you for making it possible for me to unite with these, my my kindred, these, my family, my mixed oh God. I give you praise, Yahuwah, for your Shabbat, your rest. Yahuwah, I give you praise for your rest. I give you praise for your Torah, your Basura. I thank you, Yahuwah, for the word that is going to come forth that's going to minister to our ears. I give you praise for the man of Yahuwah, Yaakov ben Zion, God, all that you have given your Basora, your Torah, your word to feed your people. I give you praise. Yahuwah, take the reins of his lips and the reins of his tongue and reign from his belly allow the Ruach HaKodesh to flow rivers of living water, Yahuwah, that water that refreshes, that Torah, that Basura, Yahuwah, let it come forth from his innermost parts, Yahuwah, the name of Yahushua Hamashi, I can bless Alicia and this baby, you girl, Yahuwah, sanctify her and set her apart, Yahuwah, set her apart. Allow your Basura and your Torah to reach into her heart and into her, in, into her little mind, Yahuwah, every word that Alicia speaks over her concerning the word of Yahuwah, may it come alive in her, even at a young age. Yahuwah, in the name of Yahushua Mashiach, I pray. I pray, Yahuwah, that you would cause light and light to spring forth. Yahuwah, in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach, I trust you and your Ruach HaKadosh to do only what you can do. And Yahuwah, I give you praise. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, Yahuwah, my strength and my redeemer, Hallelujah. 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 All right, man. Uh, yeah. So um it, it's really been pressing upon my heart. Um I think not I think I know that in this time um, there, there, there are there are those in the church who are going to start to uh look at you know not not just those who have an understanding, not just those who um, are already awakened and quickened, but those who don't even realize they searching, they're going to start seeing, uh, this, this, this page, this, and they're going to, they, and it's going to, live is going to be over their head, right? Um, uh, my best friend got a saying, he say, uh, it's simple, not easy, yeah. right? It's simple, not easy. Don't complicate it. Yeah. They, but, and, and I think that, um, the most I presents his word in, in that that in that in that pairing. It's simple, not easy. It's simple because he's gonna be real clear. He said, Today I present to you life and death, chum whom you reserve. Yes. Simple. Yes. Not necessarily easy because it all both sides come with consequences. The, you got eternal consequences and you're gonna suffer now, or you might have to go through you're gonna go through some things now 
and have a reward uh, 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 that 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 our Father is faithful to to fulfill and give in Yeshua, and yeah. so you know it's simple, not easy. And um, thinking on the the strong delusion and the 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 blocker that keeps um, people from seeing what Paul is talking about when he talks about the law of righteousness and he talks about Yeshua and he talks about the faith of Abraham and how he talks about all these things and it gets confused that somehow these things happen outside of Torah that there's a set that there's a difference between everything that comes out of the most high's mouth is Torah and so because it has to it has to be fulfilled it has to come to pass which makes it law it is law and yet, and yet, Paul is very clear on what that means. Uh, he says that Abraham's faith was accounted to him before circumcision. Before circumcision, he said that David says, "Blessed the man whom whom the Most High imputes righteousness." So, what do these things mean? And um, what was the real issue? What was the real issue? Because there was just one issue that the Most High had to address. Mm -hmm. One issue. And it was the heart of man. There wasn't an issue with his Torah. For it was, it's his Torah. It's perfect. Right. It's spiritual. You cannot say that the Torah is not spiritual. He lays out a divine character. He calls, he calls us to have a particular character. That means that we bear his image. His image. That there's no flaw in that. There's no death in that. Mm -hmm. Right, and so what? What is the issue? The issue is that our hearts, the heart of man, is the issue. The heart of man has always been the issue. Um, and if you only read the epistles, you will never ever get to the root of what Paul is talking about because he's summarizing. Yeah, and. The proof that he's summarizing, um, the, the most I showed me something, it's, um, it's in the book of Acts, right? Um, it's in the book of Acts. It says in Acts 23, it says, um, when they had appointed him a day in Acts, uh, 23, 23 to 28, it says, and when they had appointed him a day, they came many to him into his lodging, to whom he expounded and testified the kingdom of Elohim, persuading them concerning Yahushua, both out of the law of Moshe and out of the prophets, mm -hmm. from morning till evening. He had no other books to convince them of. Right. Absolutely. He used scripture, which means that scripture is defined as... The book of the law, the book of the prophets, Enoch, Jubilees, Jasher, Psalms, Proverbs, Lamentations. These are the books. These are, This is all that he had to give them an, uh, an understanding of who Yahuwah Elohim is mm -hmm. and, and how his Yeshua comes to us through Yahushua HaMashiach. Yes, absolutely. That's, that's all he had. Um, and some believe the things which were spoken, and some believe not. And when they agreed not among themselves, they departed. After that, Paul had spoken one word. Well spoke the royal Kakodesh by Yeshayahu, the prophet, unto our fathers, or as the church says, Isaiah, unto our fathers, saying, Go on to this people, and say, Hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand. And seeing ye shall see, and not perceive. For the heart of this people is wax gross. The heart of this people is wax gross. And their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes they have closed. Lest they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and should turn back. And I should heal them, and be it known therefore unto you that the Yeshua of Elohim 
is sent onto the other nations and that they will hear him. Mm. And so then, yes. now that is Paul speaking to the Yahudim in Rome. Mm -hmm. To the Yahudim. So at the beginning of that chapter, is he's in Rome. And this is him speaking to the Yahudim in Rome. And then he tells them that salvation is going to the other nations. So now when you, but, but yet, he has to double back when he's writing the church in Rome, who or the the court of assembly in Rome, which is comprised of Jews and Gentiles. When the Gentiles is getting a little too big headed and knowing that they 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 got a hold of this Yeshua that they don't receive the rural cockodesh, he he had to tell them. He said, I say then, have they stumbled that they should fall? Never, but rather through their fall, Yeshua is come onto the other nations for to provoke them to jealousy. Now, if the fall of them be the riches of the world and the diminishing of them, the riches of the other nations, how much more their fullness? For I speak to you other nations in as much as I am the apostle of the other people, I magnify my office. If by any means I may provoke to emulation them which are my flesh and might save some of them. Yes. If the casting away of them be the reconciling of the world, what should the receiving of them be? But life from the dead? For if the first fruit be holy, the lump is also holy. And if the root be holy, so are the branches. And if some of the branches be broken off, and you, being a wild olive tree, were grafted in among them, and with them partake of the root and fatness of the olive tree. So the olive tree is Yasharel. Yes. The olive tree is Yaakov. The olive tree is Avrahim, Yitzhak, and Yaakov, and the twelve, and, and the nation. Yes. Twelve tribe nation. And some have been cut off because they believe not. And in their removal, Gentiles have been the grafted in Gentiles into Yasharel. Yes. yes. Into Yasharel. This is and this is nothing new. This is why nothing new happens. In in Torah, and I'm not in Torah the Mosai says, We're the stranger amongst you who about who lives as you live, finds himself there, he takes his his inheritance. Yeah. There. In the tribe, in whatever tribe he is a part of. Whatever tribe he has found himself living amongst and living as. So this is not new. Yeah. This is absolutely. not a new asset. Absolutely. Beautiful, beautiful. Boast not against the branches, but if you boast, you bear not the root, but the root you. You will say then the branches were broken off that I might be grafted in. Well, because of unbelief, they were broken off, and you stand by faith. Be not high-minded, but fear. For Elohim spared not the natural branches. Take heed, lest he also spare not you. Behold, therefore, the goodness and severity of Elohim on them which fell uh, severity, but toward you goodness, if you continue in goodness, otherwise you also shall be cut off. So, just that I, I, I say that to clarify two parts salvation is of the Yahudim yeah salvation is of the Yahudim. it is the fulfillment of prophecy where the most I told Avraham through your seed that will bless the entire world yes. All bless through your seed so that that is that that has to it has to come in that manner um and Paul is Paul taught these people this book of romans is written to a people a court of assembly that he taught and spent time amongst teaching yes. out of torah and the prophets right. his letter was not the 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 the, the summation or the accumulation of his teaching it is a letter of refreshing and summary yes that's it absolutely absolutely I concur. So now, when you when we're reading Paul's letter, we cannot understand Paul's letter if Paul is the if Paul's letters are the root. His letters aren't the root. Yes. Law and to Torah and the prophets are the root, and in in that, what does it mean? What does salvation? What is Yeshua? And what is the and what is the 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 imputing of righteousness? With, with uh, uh, before uh, 
the physical circumcision that he says uh, Abraham had? What, did, what what does that mean? What does that mean, right? Um, because if we are his, if we are the children of Abraham, and we have this faith, and we obtain this righteousness, what does it produce, right? Yes. So James, because Paul said this faith and now it works, but James says in the book of James chapter two, he says, if you fulfill the royal mitzvah according to the scripture, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. You do well. But if you have respect of person, you commit sin and are convicted by the Torah as a transgressor. So now when Paul says that, and, and wait, James further says, and yet offend in one point, he is guilty. He says, for whosoever shall guard the whole Torah, and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all. For he that said, do not break wedlock, said also, do not kill. Now, if you do not break wedlock, yet if you kill, you have become a transgressor of the Torah. So when, when Paul says, all have fallen short of the glory of the Most High, and all of our righteousness is as filthy rags, it is because the standard of Torah is the divine, perfect character of the Most High and what he desires of us. So the law is perfect, and the law is spiritual. Yes. Yet a law works within us. Yes. James points yes. out if you break you you are held you are held as a transgressor. You are convicted by Torah. Yes. Because of Torah, but by Torah. Because your heart isn't right. And when your heart isn't right, Torah convicts you as a sinner, a transgressor. So we have a heart issue that has to be dealt with. It is not an issue. It is not an issue with his law. It is not an issue with the prophets. It is an issue with the heart of men, right? And so, the belief that faith on its on its face is 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 the stain that uh, if you confess with your heart, well, how do you confess with your whole heart? How do you do that? If you confess and believe with your whole heart, all these things that Paul says that in the church you told quote and that in itself birth salvation in you what does that mean what does that mean because how do you confess with a deceitful heart and stand right. on it right 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 how do right. you do that right. in genesis um 26 2 through 6 the Most High says to Yitzhak, to Isaac, he says, um, Yahu appeared unto him, Isaac, and said, Go not down into Mitzrayim, dwell in the land which I shall tell you of. Sojourn in this land, and I will be with you, and I will bless you. For unto you and unto your seed I will give all these countries, and I will perform the oath which I swore unto Avraham your father, and I will make your seed to multiply as the stars of heaven, and I will give unto your seed all these countries, and in your seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. Because that Avraham obeyed my voice and did guard my watch, my commandments, my statutes, and my Torah. Hallelujah. 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 In the book of Ezekiel, the Mosai says, And I will give them one heart, and I will put a new rock within you, and I will take the stony heart out of their flesh, and I will give them a heart of flesh. Yeah. That they may walk in my statutes and guard my ordinances and do them, and they shall be my people, and I will be their Elohim. So when you so when David says, Blessed is the man whom the whom the Mosai imputes righteousness, when Paul says Avraham believed the Mosai and it was accounted or imputed to him for righteousness. When he talks about the righteousness outside of the law, right? He is talking he is talking about the prophecy of Ezekiel when the Most High says what he will do. It is not your works that can do this. It is not by your works that this will happen. This is something that he has to do. He has to give you 
one heart. Remove the yeah. double mindedness from you. He has to put in you a new Ruach. He has to take away the stony heart out of your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. Yes. For the purpose of walking in his statutes, guarding his ordinances, and doing them. He will give you the heart to walk in his righteousness. Yes, he will. Hallelujah. This is what Paul is speaking about. Paul is not talking about doing away with a commandment. He is not talking about doing away with the law. For the law is perfect. It is spiritual. The Most High says in Ezekiel, Therefore say unto the house of in Ezekiel uh, 36. That was Ezekiel 11, 19 to 21. But in 36, 22 to 27, he says, Therefore say unto the house of Yasharel, Thus says Adonai Yahuwah, I do not this for your sake, O house of Yasharel, but right. for my holy name's sake. For his name's sake. So this is why Paul says, Not of good works. It's not, he's not doing it because you good. Yes. He's not doing it because you did something. For his name's sake. So now, it, why, why is it important? Because he's doing it first for the house of Yasharel. And with those who rejected the work of Yahushua HaMashiach, you have grafted in Gentiles. Yes, absolutely. In order, right? Absolutely. Which you have profaned among the heathen where you went, and I will sanctify my great name, which was profaned among the heathen, which you have profaned in the midst of them. And the heathen shall know that I am Yahuwah. Did he not sanctify his name in Yahushua HaMashiach? Yes. Yeah. Did he not sanctify his name? Did he not bring Yeshua in, 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 in the midst of the heathen through his apostles? Yeah. That they may know who he is. That they may know his great name. Said so Adonai Yahuwah, when I shall be sanctified in you before their eyes, for I will take you from among the heathen and gather you out of all countries, and I will bring you into your own land. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, and ye shall be clean from all your filthiness and from all your idols, and I will cleanse you. And a new heart also will I give you, and a new ruach will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart of your flesh, and I will give you a heart of flesh, and I will put my ruach within you, and cause you to walk in my statutes, and ye shall guard my judgments and do them. It's a hard issue. Hallelujah. Yeah, it is. And why is it a hard issue? Well, it's simple. The most I says in Jeremiah 17, 9 through 10, the heart is deceitful above all things. Yes. And desperately wicked. Who can know it? I, Yahuwah, search the heart, I try the mind, even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doing. How does he search the heart? By his word, by his Torah. This is why James says you, 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 you are convicted as a transgressor by the Torah. When you yeah. try to walk on your own, when you think that your works will justify you, you're going to fail and you will be convicted as a transgressor by the Torah. Yeah. Because your heart you don't have a heart for this. You know, man, in Ezra, right? In Ezra, the 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 first chapter, I mean it it speaks to um what you were speaking to in that it says in the uh first chapter, the twenty-fourth verse, he says he says, what shall I do unto you, O Yaakov and Yahuda? would not obey me, right? You, you would not obey me, right? You would not keep my Torah. You would not keep my commandments, right? Mm -hmm. He says, what shall I do unto you, O Yaakov and Yahuda? would not obey me? I will turn to the other nations... And unto those will I give my name that they may guard my statutes, right? He says, seeing ye have forsaken me, right? Mm -hmm. I will forsake you also, right? When ye desire me to be gracious unto you, 
I will have no mercy. That's the same thing mm -hmm. Shaul was saying. Listen, don't you get puffed up, right? Don't you, because you know, if Yahuwah didn't spare Yashorol and Yahuda, he didn't spare the nation. He ain't going to oh. spare you. He said, he, he ain't going he to do it. He says, for whatsoever ye shall call upon me, I will not hear you. For ye have defiled your hands with blood, and your feet were was, was swift to commit manslaughter. Ye have not, as it were, forsaken me, but your own selves, says Yahuwah. Mm -mm -mm. Yahuwah had all, always established that we should keep Torah, statutes, and commandments, and he's always established, he's always made preparations for whoever will. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he's always made provisions for whoever will that's keep right. his statue, because that's all, that's all you will want. He just wants the people that's going to obey him. That's it. He's going to keep his law, statutes, and commandments, who are going to be willing to believe him in Imunah, receive his name, you know, receive the witness, right? Be born again, right? Uh -huh. He's just looking for somebody to do that. He don't, listen, you who you had a contract with us, right? right? But listen, look, 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 look. You don't want to keep the contract, you could get cut off and I'll grab somebody else in. That's it. Like, 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 um, you know, and, uh, and I know like, like a, a big part of it is that uh, we get indoctrinated to where we just don't, we don't know the word. We know some of it. Like, yes. you know, uh, uh, I mean, there's enough there. So there's the, we're, we're without excuse. I'm going to start there. We're without excuse. Yeah, understanding Abraham, uh, uh, Abraham is like, you know, Abraham had an outer, he had an outer circumcision and was told to circumcise everyone in, in, in his household. But, it, but his heart was already circumcised. Right. This man, this man chose the most high already. Right. He stood in fire. Absolutely. He got on fire like Daniel. Like he, he had already made decision. He was an injury because he crossed over, but he crossed over in faith. He crossed yeah. over with an obedient heart. Yeah. Right? And, and 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 he now had this outward sign. But uh, but 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 the and the, the nation was given the outward sign, and then they had to be told Mo, Moshe said, he said, Man, you better circumcise the foreskin of your heart. Circumcise yeah. it was this was always a heart issue. This was, this was never an issue. You can there can never be an issue with the commandments, the statutes, the ordinances of the Most High. He is he is perfect. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yahushua yeah. says that he tells the woman at the well. Uh, he says he says uh, 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 Yahuwah is Ruach, and those who worship him must worship him in rock and truth. There's nothing carnal about about this word, about this law. There's nothing that a man can disdain or disqualify. And the most right. will never disqualify himself. Right. He will never disqualify himself. Yes. This is why he tells them in Ezra, you have forsaken yourselves. Yes. You, you fail to get this this right. Um the most Mashiach says he says. The Torah and the prophets were until Yahukanah. Since that time, the kingdom of Elohim is preached and every man presses into it. And it is easier for heaven and earth to pass than one tittle of the Torah to fail. Now, we, we, we touched on this a while ago about Yahukanah. Yahukanah being a descendant of, uh, uh, of, of Aaron in, in being the last priest, the last high priest, the last ordained high priest, yeah. he had a different ministry because the because the priesthood was so uh, perverse and polluted at the time that that the Mosiah had to use him in a different manner and keep him separate and untouched from what was going on in the actual priesthood. I mean, they was the priesthood was working with uh, uh, the Roman the the the, the Roman uh, leadership to destroy Hamas. Right. They, they, they were trying to uh, interpret prophecy. For for uh, uh, Herod, so he can just and then uh, and then that led to the killing of thousands of, of 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 baby Hebrews, man. Like this was the priesthood that was doing this. Yeah. Right. Then in the Most High says in the book in, in in the prophet says in the book of Lamentations, he says Adonai was as an enemy. He has swallowed up Yasharel. 
He has swallowed up all her palaces. He has destroyed his strongholds. It has increased in the daughter of Yehuda mourning and lamentation. And he has violently taken away his tabernacle as if it were a garden of a garden. He has destroyed his places of the assembly. Yahuwah has caused the solemn feast and Shabbat in the Shabbats to be forgotten in Zion and has despised in the indignation of his anger the king and the priests. Man, that's a beautiful text, man. I ain't read that one. I mean, hmm? I probably read it once before. Oh, yeah. but I <laughs> Adonai has cast off his altar. He has abhorred his sanctuary. He has given up into the hand of the enemy the walls of her palaces. They have made a noise in the house of Adonai as in the day of a solemn feast. The reason why Hamas says that uh, uh, the Torah and the prophets were until Yehukanan, it's over. Yeah. You, you will have no... There is, there is This is... Ooh, you got to get deep now. We have, a high, <laughs> we have a high priest. And we have a high priest because there's no other priest. Listen, I'm not saying, boy, you better go in. You better go in. <laughs> there's no other options. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Oh, man. Man, that was, that was, that was a key. That was a key. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that was the key. Our hearts were so wicked, so deceitful, and so wicked. Mm. All men, all men. The difference between us and all men is that he came to us and showed us. He showed us righteousness. He gave us his character. Yeah, he told true. us what it is to walk in the image. He laid it out in Torah. Yes. He, he did the love, love. He says, "Love the stranger as yourself. Love your neighbor as yourself. Look, put nothing above me." Here's my cat. Here's the character. The world will know. Yeah. Because I bless you. You do these things, and the blessing upon you is going to be so evident. This is why Hamashiach comes and says, "Uh, uh, you are you are the light of the world. You are the light of the world." Right? No one takes, yeah. no one lights a candle, a menorah, and hides it under a bushel. No, they set it on a hill. Yes. This is what we're supposed to be. Full of oil. Light, a light on a hill that the world may see. The image of Yah. Yes. The image of Yah. Do you, the image of Yah. Yo, they, they fruitful in all things. Yes. How do you can stand before them? And they love one another. I'm gonna go dwell with them because they love the, they love the strangers that walk up right before y'all as they love themselves and their brothers. I need to be there. Yeah, that's what we was called to bring to this world. We was called. That's what we was called to bring to this world. Oh, that's the man. Yeshua. That's, that's the best. Yeshua that we bring to the world. Yes, we fail. We, it's a heart issue. The world had that heart issue. He exposes it in us because he gave us his Torah. Yes. So when anyone says throw away, throw it out, he did away with it. He can't disqualify his character. Yes. <laughs> Man, you teach. <laughs> In the Bizarro, the Bizarro Mark, Mark says, and he began to teach, and this is uh Mark 4, 1 through 20. He says, and he began again to teach by the seaside and there was gathered unto him a great multitude so that he entered into a sheet a ship and sat in the sea and the whole multitude was by the sea on the land and he taught them many things by parables and said unto them in his doctrine hearken behold there went out a sower to sow and it came to pass as he sowed some fell by the wayside and the fowls of the air came and devoured it up and some fell on stony ground where it had not much earth and immediately it sprang up because it had no depth of heart or earth. But when the sun was up, it was scorched and because it had no root, it withered away and some fell among thorns and the thorns grew up and choked it and yielded no fruit and other fell on good ground and did yield fruit that sprang up and increased and brought forth some 30 and some 60 and some 100. And he said unto them, 
He that has ears to hear, let him hear. And when he was alone, they that were about him with the twelve asked of him the parable. And he said unto them, Unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of Elohim, mm -hmm. but unto of Yahuwah Elohim, but unto them that are without, all these things are done in parables, that seeing they may see and not perceive, and hearing they may hear and not understand, lest at any time they should turn back and their sins should be forgiven them. The Most High is so merciful that at any time, if they turn back, He'd forgive their sins. Exactly. But they so stubborn so that He's like, I'm not going to give them ears to hear me right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's um, he says, uh, And He said unto them, Know ye not this parable? And how then will ye know all parables? For the sower sows the word. Mm. And these are they by the way. So now we st I started off this with Paul doing what? Sowing the word. Sowing the word. So I'm going to stop right there real quick to go back to um, the Acts. It says, yeah. in the Acts it says, uh, and when they had uh, appointed him a day, there came many to him into his lodging to whom he expounded and testified on the kingdom of Elohim. Hamashiach is saying, I'm laying out to you the kingdom of Elohim. And here goes Paul testifying on the kingdom of Elohim, persuading them concerning Yahusha, both out of the law of Moshe and out of the prophets from morning till evening. And he says, when they couldn't agree, he says, well spoke the Ruach HaKodesh by Yesha Yahu, the prophet, unto our father, saying, go on to this people and uh, say, and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see, and not perceive. Right? And so now, Hamashiach, is telling them they not going here, they can't hear and they can't understand. The sower is going out and sowing the word. The word is the law of Moshe, mm -hmm. Torah, and the prophet. Mm -hmm. Yes. This is the word. The word is said to be for the word of Elohim is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and ruach, and of the joints and marrow, and mm. is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of what? The heart. Of the heart. Neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight, but all things are naked and open unto the eyes of him with whom we have to give account. Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, Yahusha, the son of Yahuwah, our Lua, let us hold fast our profession. And he says, uh, I'm going to finish Mark, but he says, I stopped there because he says in uh, Yeremiah, where did I put that? He says, um, the heart is deceitful above all things. And desperately mm -hmm. wicked, who can know it? I, Yahuwah, search the heart. I try the mind. Right? So now we know that Yahuwah searches the heart and tries the mind even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings. And how does he do that? Uh, according to the the letter of uh, uh, to, to, to Hebrews, he does it by his word. The yeah. word of Elohim is quick and powerful and sharper than any two of the sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and ruach and the joints and marrow, and is, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. So when yeah. the sword goes forth so in his word, he is going forth and revealing man unto man. I'm going to give this word that will convict the heart. I will give you the conditions to having, to receiving this new heart and this Ruach. I'm going to sow this word. The sower sows the word. And these are they by the wayside where the word is sown. But when they have heard, Hasatan comes immediately and takes away the word that was sown in their hearts. And these are they likewise, likewise which are sown on stony ground, who, when they have heard the word, immediately receive it with gladness and have no root in themselves, and so endure but for a time. Afterward, 
when affliction and persecution arises for the word's sake, when the tribulations come to try and reprove you, when the tribulations come to purge you, so you have that fresh start, when they come, immediately they are offended. Yes. And these are they which are sown among thorns, such as hear the word, and the cares of this world, and the deceitfulness of riches, and the lust of other things enter and end, choke the word, and it becomes unfruitful. When you trip, like, you, the, 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 the very last commandment is a commandment of covetous, covetousness. Mm -hmm. You can do all these things. You can, you can say that I put nothing above the most high. You can, you can, you can say that I don't take his name in vain. You can keep his Shabbat. But when you're looking at what everybody else got, and you in your brother's car, his woman, his house. Right. And you watch all these things, and they, and then you've, then you've just undone. This is why. This is why he says the Torah convicts you as a transgressor. Because you break one, you break them all. Because you break that one, mm -hmm. and you supplant all those things over the Most High, which means you didn't break them all. Yeah, right? the kids of this world choke the word and it becomes unfruitful. And these are they which are sown on good ground, such as hear the word and receive and bring forth fruit, yeah. some 30 fold, some 60, and some 100. So here's the thing about the, the, the final state the final state stands in the present of the other three. Satan come to try that word, yeah, they stand. Uh, they're persecuted for that word. They stand. Yes. The world, the world, and the riches and the things of the world present themselves, and they stand. Yes. It's the word. It's the word. It's the word. It's, it, 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 it's, it's the word that has to prove the heart that you can receive the heart. It's the word that sets the conditions. That he's able to come in. This is him when this is when 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 they say that and he believed. Well, James says, "Faith without works is dead." Mm -hmm. It doesn't just say that Abraham believed. It says he obeyed. Yeah. It says he guarded. Yes. It says he kept his watch. Yes. Paul and Paul doesn't say anything different. Paul doesn't say anything different in, in, in Romans 11. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I, I know. Just, yeah. Um, you know, I just pulled the rules. <laughs> no, it's Romans 10. <laughs> <I pulled it. laughs> it's Romans 10. I think it's Romans Moshe describes the... Okay, Romans 10. You're right. It's... Um, he says, yeah, the heart desire and prayer to Elohim or Yashorel is that they might be saved. For I bear the record that they have a zeal of Elohim, yeah. not according to ignorant of Elohim's righteousness, and going about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of Elohim. What is Paul saying? Paul is saying is that they have convinced themselves that by them keeping Torah, the Most High is going to honor their understanding of Torah, their attempt of Torah, while they constantly reject His Word at the same time. Yeah, ignorant. His, his righteousness, because He clearly says, I'm going to do it. Yes, you've done all the other work. You've profaned my name. Yeah. That work. I'm going to clean you up. And I'm going to clean you up in the midst of these heathen. And I'm going to set your heart straight. Hamashiach comes. Hamashiach says you must be born again. Mm -hmm. Hamashiach says I am the way, the truth, and the light. Mm -hmm. Hamashiach dies. Hamashiach is risen. The way is presented. This is how righteousness is imputed. And it is rejected. It isn't imputed to where you have this grace where there's no root. To where he does away, completely does away with his Torah. 
It's imputed to that the very things you would attempt to do, he now gives you a heart to do them in righteousness. Yes. And they have rejected that. Yes. They being ignorant of Elohim's righteousness and going about establishing their own righteousness have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of Elohim. For Mashiach is the goal of the Torah. Yeah. Yes. Righteousness to everyone that yeah. believes. Yes. Goal of the Torah. He is the fulfillment. This is why he says, I come not to do away with the law of the prophets. Yeah. But to fulfill, but to fulfill the prophecy of Ezekiel, I'ma change your heart and y'all gonna keep all this stuff. I'm gonna give you a rook, I'm gonna endow you with power from on high. You know what, man? Right before you know, and what's been missing, you know, when you look at the translation of the King James Version, as opposed to what you have in the Cipher, uh, uh, in the Cipher it says, for Hamashiach is the end of the Torah. Right? Well, I mean, in the King James, it's the end right, of the Torah. Right, which would lead you to believe that, okay, so oh, the way. Torah has ended, right? And because it is ended, Hamashiach has replaced it, right? I mean, that's 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 the that's the natural um, uh, progression of understanding based on the translation, probably as they had translated it, right? Mm -hmm. But what you read, it says the goal, the goal, the goal, right? Because Torah has a goal. Torah's mm -hmm. goal is righteousness. Right, Yahusha made righteousness possible, right? Because mm -hmm. he was the goal. Because in him we were made righteous. We in him his blood that was shed that 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 we received in Imuna cleansed our hearts, made our hearts pure mm -hmm. because of this. Right now, the end goal, right, is achievable, and everyone who believes it to be achievable can walk in it. Everyone that believes that the blood of Yahushua Mashiach, in fact, cleanses you from all unrighteousness, and Yahuwah establishes a new heart in you, all those who can understand that this is the end goal. Right, and it's not the end of the law, but it's the end of the goal. The goal is fulfilling Torah, Yahuwah's word, and Yahusha was the goal by which that was accomplished. And so, I put, I put up the blue letter because look at what the word end in that in that verse that you know people can a lot of people have the sefer, but if you just go back to your concordance, right. it tells you that that telos from primary telo. To set out for a definite point or and goal. Or, yes. The root word is goal. goal. And then you see that it says uh eternal. It says last in any succession or series. Um that by which a thing is finished, it's closed issue, the end to which all things relate, the aim or purpose. Yes. It's not about putting away. Yes. Yeah, this is, this is the putting away of Torah. This but is the know, but you know, the thing is, is that you know, I mean, we actually in Christendom have we're taught to be dumbed down, you know. I mean, it's what he says, you know, if the pastor says it, then that's what the pastor say. But yeah. how many of us really took the Torah, right? Took, took the blue letter Bible, took the Strong's Concordance. And began to study the Besor of the Torah. We thought the study and was just reading it. When in yeah. actuality, it requires research. It mm -hmm. requires delving into something, right? And and uh, again, in the Christian church, you know, you know, Pastor never said, "Listen, I want y'all to take." Uh, we, we're going to be studying from uh, um, um, Romans the tenth chapter. Um, I want you to uh, go and explore that. I want you to look at the uh, concordance and find the words. And name my tell No. Matter of fact, he never, told, he never told anybody what he was going to speak on. 
<laughs> the pastor never tells, and he never says this. You, uh, as you begin your journey, let's read the Torah. Yes. Let's read the first five books. Yes. We, you want to understand Yeshua? You want to understand Hamashiach? Then we got to first read these first five books. Yes. Before you jump into any one of these gospels, because you have no foundation of understanding these guys, uh, these bazaaras. Yes. We tell you go right to the bazaara and then go right to the epistles. You don't have a clue. And you then don't you have get, a clue. You get this King James version, which got all these <laughs> subtitles in it. That you, or, or worse, you might get an English Standard version. Or, right, American English Standard. You got all these <laughs> other translations. You get all these other translations that put in all these other subtitles. Oh, man. You, know, yes. what's going on. you have no idea what's going on. Yeah. You got a million subtitles. You don't know what's going on. Things that were never written, but it was given to a book. It was given to you in the book that you led the reverence. And in, in, in all forms, and so you just believe it. You yeah. just you say, "Well, it says this here. It says Last Supper. That's yeah. Pesach." Yes, 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 yes. Oh, average meal. They just didn't take no 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 last meal. This is Pesach. Yes, yes. You just lose yes. anything from the word, yo. And so you don't know, you know, like you don't have any grounding. You have no grounding. Yes, now, now, bro, you gonna have to go down. To Romans that tenth chapter, uh, even that eighth verse, on down a little bit, cause <laughs> that's that's like that's like what you what you talking about, right? Yeah. Cause 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 you it, it says it says for Hamashiach is the end of the Torah or the goal of the Torah mm -hmm. and righteousness, and then he, it talks about Moshe. But mm -hmm. when you get down to verse 8, he says, but what saith it, the Torah is nigh thee, it's even in thy mouth, and it's in thy heart, it comes by, it is the word, it is the Torah of Yahuwah, which we declare, mm -hmm. right, which comes, that we declare, that's why Yahushua was talking about how when he preaches or when he speaks in parables, Right, it goes for, right, but only those who have an ear to hear are going to be able to hear or discern what it is yeah. that he's saying, right? So it's, it, 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 just go ahead and read that little moment. But what says it? The word is nigh you, even in your mouth, yes. in your heart. Yes. And in your heart. So now, this is them now. This is the book of Romans. Yes. In the book of Acts, he's in Rome. What is the word he's reading to them? The Torah. The Torah and the prophets. The prophets. The Torah and the prophets. Yes. We yes. preach. We preach this particular word. That if you shall confess with your mouth, he showed them Yahusha in the law and in the prophets. Yes. So that they were able, that they were able to confess with their mouth the goal of the Torah. Yes. Able to confess with their mouth, Adonai Yahusha, and shall believe in your heart that yes. Allah raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. Raised yes. who from the dead? Yes. You uh, they had to understand what the end of what what Yahukanah stood for. Yes. He had to lay out to them. Uh, 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 the book of limitations when, when he said all this is done away with yes. because of disobedience Paul laid out to them uh, the book of Jeremiah when he tells them to circumcise them heart because their heart because the heart is deceitfully wicked above all things yes who can know it Paul laid out to them the righteousness of Yahuwah Elohim through Torah he laid out to them the mercy and forgiveness of Yusha of Yahusha Elohim by constantly forgiving the, uh, disobedient and rebellious people he laid out to him the removal of all these things, the promise of Yeshua, the promise of a new heart. He laid out all these yeah. things through the law and the prophets and then told them the fulfillment of those things. The fulfillment of those things yeah. is Yusha who came. <laughs> and now when they confess, they're confessing the fulfillment. They're confessing uh, the they speak in Torah. 
way that there was that there was a way for them to obtain a heart that is able to keep Torah, and that is Yahusha Hamashiach. Yes, That's what yes. they are confessing and believing. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. Because all of that was laid out. It said that he spent time laboring from morning till evening, just that one day. But he was there. Yeah, He's yeah, yeah, yeah. Two years in Rome, he was there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With, the heart, with the heart, man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth, confession is made unto Yeshua. With the heart, man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth, confession is made unto Yeshua. For the scripture says, whosoever believes on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the, Yah the Yahudi and the Yavane. For the same Yahuwah over all is rich unto all that call upon him, which is what you just read in Ezra. <laughs> yes. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. And it's what you alluded to. And uh, um, when you when you had mentioned earlier about um, the Gentiles and how they don't boast against the uh, both against the branch, mm -hmm. you know, you've been grafted in. You, you're the wild olive branch, but you grafted in, right? Because you who have made provisions for you to be a part. He made provisions for you to have access to this thing, right? Right. So there's no, there's no, there's no, there's no, there's no difference. No difference. There's no difference. But the scripture says, "Whosoever believes on him should not be as we read that." Yeah. On verse 13, for whosoever shall call upon the name of Yahuwah shall be saved. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? They have not heard a Torah. Or have not heard a Torah. <laughs> you can't believe him until you hear a Torah. And how you can't believe unless you hear the Torah and the prophets. You, you can't. Get them. You got to understand them that way. Otherwise, you ain't going to understand it. And he says, he says, how shall they hear without a preacher? And that's the most generalized word yes. right now. But he's defining something here. Yes. He's defining what a preacher is and what a preacher does. He, he sent. <laughs> he sent. Key number one. Key number one. He sent. Key number one. He is sent. Sent by Yahoo. <laughs> he is sent. Oh, yeah. Wow. He's been in the tour. You don't understand what a preacher is, then go read the book of Acts. These men did not just show up in their mouth. They showed up, and out of their mouth came rivers of living water yeah. because they walked, walked yeah. with the, 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 they walked with the word incarnate. They walked with them, and they knew Torah. Yeah. They knew yes. Torah. They knew the prophecies. They laid out the word. Paul didn't come to the to Romans with the book of Romans. No, he didn't. He didn't go to Rome and say, hey, listen, I got this book for y'all. It's called the book of Romans. It teach anything you need to know about, about, about this. Thing. He know. <laughs> I'm going to teach you some cliff notes. I'm going to teach you some cliff notes. You're going to pass this test with a D. <laughs> Hallelujah, man. Listen here, you preaching. <laughs> yeah, we getting this out. This going out. This going out. This how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the basura of peace and bring good news of good things. But they have not all obeyed the basura. <laughs> Oh, and because they were not obedient, they was cut off, and others was grafted in. So and, and he get, he says, but for Yeshayahu says Yahuwah, who has believed our report? So this is this is it. The prophets were preachers. Yes. The prophets were preachers. Yes. Nowadays, you got people who going to tell you they, they a preacher, and we're going to invite this prophet to come in, or we're going to go hear this apostle. <laughs> the apostle going to come in. Uh, <laughs> I ain't said. I don't know, but this this says that how should they how should they hear without a preacher, and how should they preach except they be sent? And then he immediately points out Yeshayahu, Yahuwah, 
who has believed our report. The prophets were preachers. Yes, yes. So then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of Elohim. The word of Elohim. Like, like, the word. word. The book of Romans, I, I, I love the letters, yet letters were not considered scripture. Yeah, no. It was letters. It was letters that reinforced the 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 work that was put in in expounding upon the law and the prophets amongst an assembly. Yes, yes, yes. Little little letters sent to to encourage those who had received the witness, who had received the 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 the, the, the good news of the basura, who had already received it. Yes. Because yeah. they were able to see Yahushua HaMashiach in the law of Moshe and the prophets. They believed the report. They believed the report. They believed the report. They were born again of the water and of the Ruach HaKodesh. They received the Ruach HaKodesh, the water and the blood. They were the witnesses, right, of what he had spoken concerning the law and the prophets. Man, look at here. Look, look, man. Look, look, look. This thing is good, man. This thing is good. Oh, man. I'm sorry, man. No, no, no. Like, and, and, and I, you know, I get, I get so, like, because it, it, cause I didn't see it, you know? Yeah. yeah. It was presented to me like this for so long, and I couldn't see it. And I was, I had a, a strong delusion, and I had, my eyes weren't open, and, you know, it, it 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 it's it's a it's a it's a sad state, man. It's a sad state to wake up and realize how undone you are before the most high. Yeah. yeah. And you thought you was thought you was on or something. You the Nicolaitans and don't even realize that you. Yeah, right. <laughs> and right. It was, you got this. You got this unfounded. You under this unfounded grace that ain't rooted in nothing. That don't that don't bear no real fruit. Oh man, come on, talk, man, talk, talk. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Listen, yeah, that's that's Torah, right? That's Torah. Hallelujah. You got this religion, you got this this Sunday, this day for soul evictus, you got this cross, and you, you got you got this 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 stringy haired pale skinned person. With, with his heart out and you got you got all this stuff they lean you 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 leaning on and crying to and you got these emotions that's unchecked uh, yes. you, you surrounded by people do it all caught in the same state all broken mm. all broken mm. you got this diet that that you told us something you full of you full of what you unclean <laughs> you unclean <laughs> Man, it's good. It's good. You preaching, preaching, crying loud. <laughs> ah, hallelujah! Lost in that state. Lost in that. Lost in that for the majority of my life. Man, lost in that. To, and it hurt. And it hurt to see people still trapped in it. It hurt to see my family still trapped in it. But it's everybody's choice and decision. Right. I but now I got to cry aloud that somebody you hear, those who who it's meant for will receive yes, it. Yes, absolutely. And you know, you know, um, I was talking to uh, Lance's father, my first cousin. I was talking mm -hmm. to him yesterday, you know, you know, he calls me. He actually, he, he sends me stuff on Facebook, you know, when, you know, like he on a messenger, he'll shoot me some say, hey, hey, Donnie, what about this? You know, and he's asking me only because he wants clarity. He's not like you yeah. know trying to test me or anything. You know, yeah. so you know, so you know, we were talking. He he, he was caught. Remember, he was he was he was looking. He was texting me and 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 you know he was just real concerned about me and you know you know and the whole thing and you know last night we got on the phone and we was talking and um you know he was like you know. He, he was, we talked about the Christian church because, you know, I used to invite him to 
remember to get his brother prom to go to church all the time. You know, come on, man, go to church. You know, and he went. They went a couple of times. They weren't really feeling that church thing, right? You know, so they didn't really grow up with it like me. You know, like I grew up yeah. with it. Like, you know, that was everything and I understood it. And now I can present it to him, right? How in actuality he was better off than me. Yeah. Right? Now, and me in the religion, not me in a young yeah, man yeah. having received the Ruach Agadesh in early age. Not that. But I'm talking about having not had to fight through the indoctrination that comes in Christianity. Mm -hmm. Not not mm -hmm. not having to be tied to the religious uh, 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 observances and ceremonies that they participate in. You know, yeah. um, and um, actually having to be um, free from that. And now, you know, he talks to me. He's like, look, man, you know, he says, uh, <laughs> he's so funny. He says, hey, man, you know, you know, I, 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 I don't call him God no more. I call him, I call him uh, Yahweh. You know, <laughs> he can't pronounce it right. He says, that, and, and you know, and you know, I go to work and I say, uh, you, you, sir. I think it's you, sir. He says that I'll be like, look, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm trusting in you to be, uh, uh, um, 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 Yahuwah and uh, your son Yahusha, you know, what I mean? it's funny because it's easier for it's almost easier for you to make a transition into this witness, not yeah. having to have the scars, yeah, that come through Christianity. And you know, again, yeah. like I said I received the Ruach Hagadesh because at a young age, because I just believed it for what it was. It wasn't about a Christianity. I didn't actually. I didn't even look at it so much as Christianity until I went to a Christian college, and, yeah. and Christianity became Christianity kind of thing, you know. So, uh, but uh, uh, you know, I could see how that it influenced a yeah. lot of my processes. But Yahuwah would always turn me away from him. Mm -hmm. You know, you would always turn me away from him. I could never get established in any doctrine. I could never get established in any domination. I would be in one domination. I'd be like, God, this ain't right. i leave that one, go to another. Win in that one, that ain't right. Leave that one. Man, I'd have been in Church of God, Church of God of Christ, Church of God by faith. I'd have been in AME Methodist. I had to be in Methodist. I'd have been in Baptist. I'd have been in Southern Baptist. I'd have been in all of them. <laughs> the last one I was in was a uh, 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 AME Methodist, and I'm like, uh, I can't do this. One. I yeah. see why I, I can't do. I can't, I can't do. I, and this was even before I woke up. I mean, before I woke up. Yeah, actually, this is before I recognized I was the people. Right? Yeah. I couldn't do it no more. You know, I couldn't sit up on no pulpit as an assistant pastor, assistant minister. I couldn't do it no more. You know, and I'm listening to these people, and I'm watching their behavior, and they ain't changing. And you know, you know, we going in and singing on Sunday services. They going in one way and coming out the same way, and you know, ain't nothing happening. I, this, this can't be right. It can't be right. And I walked away from it. I did. I walked completely away from it. You know, yeah. I mean, I didn't walk away from Yahoo, but I walked away from that that system because that system yeah. is is a destructive it's yeah. a destructive system and it don't matter what no matter you know i was in the uh, uh, assemblies of gods i was in the uh, 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 uh faith movement churches you know um you know i've been in all of them you know they all wicked they all wicked you know yeah. and it's a sad thing it's a sad thing so go on man i'm sorry about that no no i'm i'm, I'm with you like I, I um you know this this I came about this. Uh, I came about that about Christianity. Um, when I was younger, like little, little, I thought it was. I thought it was just all like I had to cry. I hated going to church. I couldn't stand. I, I didn't know why I had to go to this building. Everything in it made me cry. People passing out for no reason. I ain't get nothing going on in here. And you know, I was in prison when I when I really cried out to the Most High. I was in a prison cell, and um, I was fortunate enough, like in in, in learning the scripture, I had someone. 
who they didn't know who they were, but they knew enough to, to like to expose all of the denominations. So I never got caught up in any denomination, mm -hmm. right? And so <clears throat> my brother, you know, he 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 is a he's been a Hebrew for since we were kids, man. Since we, since he was about 18, 17 years old, but you know, it's just that he doesn't see Hamashiach. He can't see Hamashiach in scripture. And I'm, I'm still believing that because he asked, we have real conversation and he acts in sincerity. So I, I, I believe the most I is working on him. It's just that, um, I had to get here and I couldn't get here because all I knew about, uh, uh this walk was these dudes in the corner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And my brother and I was like, nah, I can't, cause I can't. I know, I know Hamashiach real. Yeah, yeah. I know Hamashiach real. And I, and I was like, but the D dudes is crazy, and bro ain't there. So I just, you know, I'm just gonna stay this path. Yeah, yeah. And it took a, you know, he had to really remove the skills from my eye, from my eyes to see, to see him, for me to see Yahuwah, to see the beauty of his Torah, to see, uh, 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 uh the, that it's spiritual. Yes. Folks are so quick to convince you that this isn't spiritual, that this is a work. This isn't a work. No. This isn't a work. It is very spiritual. And faith without works is dead anyway. So you yeah. define my works. Can you define your works by faith? Yeah. Can you define your works of faith? They can't. No. But they they gonna tell you. They are gonna tell you. I get goosebumps and I, I, I speak in tongues. Yeah. Give me your works of faith. Okay. Oh, man. Get you. oh man, I tell you, bro. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Faith comes about hearing and hearing by the word of Elohim. But I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily, their sound went into all the earth and the words onto the ends of the world. Now remember, uh Rahab heard. Yes. Rahab heard the witness. I don't even know if Rahab was alive. Mm. So I don't think she was alive when 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 the most High delivered Yasharel from from from, from Mitzrayim. Yeah. It's Forty years later. Yeah. And she and she was still in her in her in her fertile years. Yeah. When when she, when her family was delivered because she's in the lineage. Yeah. The lineage. So she was telling her final years with a chance that she wasn't even alive. But she says, all of my people have heard mm. what your Elohim has done for you. Yeah. Right? And we've lived in fear for the last 40 years. <laughs> yeah, because we, 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 we know the power of Mitzrayim. Right? We know we know the power of Mitzrayim, but but we've seen how Yahuwah subdued all their elves just pulverized them before him and then he took their first board oh my what kind of hell is this right he destroyed their entire army yo he collapsed out and collapsed the swoop. <laughs> he collapsed the nation yes. he collapsed the nation in a day in a week he collapsed the nation yes destroyed all their crops they cattle they firstborn yes. the yes. military their economy was gone. Their military was gone. Their administration was gone. Everything was gone. Gone. Hallelujah. But I say, did not Yasharel know. Yeah. First Moshe says, I will provoke you to jealousy by them that are no people and by a foolish nation I will anger you. But Yeshayahu was very bold and says, I was found of them that sought me not. I was made manifest unto them that asked not after me. But to Yasharil, he says, All day long I have stretched forth my hand unto oh, a disobedient, gain same people. Oh, day long. Paul went, Paul went amongst the other nations preaching the witness, and they weren't even looking for a witness. <laughs> they weren't even looking for a witness. Paul went to a nation, they had a big. <laughs> God. They was happy. They, they was happy with with, they with the statue with, of the unknown God. And all these Paul said, "He ain't unknown. This is known. This is, oh, here we go. Let's go. I'm with it." Yeah, right. They was happy with the, what they was in. They was they was serving that. 
But Shaul went and preached this witness to him. And those who had Emu now believe what he said, received it, <laughs> grafted it. it That's grafted awesome. in. Oh man, listen, look at here, look at here, look at here. It's 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 a, it's like it it should be this should be this is what was supposed to be happening, right? Right. The witness of Torah and prophet leading us to Hamashiach, Hamashiach leading them back to Torah and back back to the Torah and the prophet. We all meet with these brand new hearts grafted in, serving the right. side, guarding his watch, keeping his commandments, his statutes and orders. Yes. yes. That's it. That's it. That's that's what it is. That, that's that's exactly what it, what it is. That's it. That's what it boils down to. And everything else that that is it is that's in that is filler. You know, it's the stuff that's gonna have to happen. Right, but this is the objective. Mm -hmm. This is what it's supposed to look like. You know, that's you know, man, look, look, all the rest of this, man. Look, man, this this is good, bro. <laughs> Hallelujah. Go on, man. Go on, keep going. No, I'm 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 gonna stop there. That's that I'm gonna stop there. I'm gonna stop there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, you get this done ASAP. I got it. <laughs> ASAP, get this done, man. I got to put this up. I got to get this up. Put my gas run out. <laughs> <laughs> got you. <laughs> oh, man. Listen, 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 listen. This this was a blessing, man. Listen, I'm I'm going to uh, I'm going to listen to this one myself several times. <laughs> yeah, man. This is the last. Listen, listen, listen. Every lesson you've ever presented has always been spot on, bro. Spot on, spot on. I mean, Torah, spot on, right? And um. You know, the last one that you did was like, I was like, ooh, man, that was good. That was, ah, uh, good. And and this one is like, oh, my goodness. <laughs> Spot on. But that's the Ruach, man. That's the Ruach that's in you. That's from your belly flowing rivers of living water. That's, that's that word that Yahuwah has put in you to you to preach out, to you to give out, right? Listen, listen, look, man. Him who have ears to hear, let him hear what, what the, the Ruach is saying to the assembly. So, point play, period. That's just the way that is. So, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Wabba. Yeah, hallelujah, hallelujah, man. To y'all be the glory, man. Um, to y'all be the glory. To y'all be the glory, man. To y'all be the glory. All right. That's it. Wrap. It. <laughs> so wrap. Y'all got anything? Nisha Maji, how y'all holding up? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm holding up. I'm holding up. They're Hold doing up. a lot of construction over here, so it's kind of hard to hear and things. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, listen, what we gonna do is we're gonna get it up. And when we get it up online, you won't be able to you won't be able to access it anytime. Yeah, we'll send the link. We'll send yeah. the link. Send the link. Okay, so, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. How that baby listen? <laughs> probably trying to put her to sleep. <laughs> you try to put her to sleep. Yeah. That little girl, that little girl got her right now. Yeah, man. You got I know. Her. I know. You know. You know, she made for it. She built for it. She can handle it. You know, it's gonna be testing. You know, it's gonna it's gonna test her. You know, it's definitely gonna test her. But it's all good though. She she gonna be able to, she gonna be able to get it. She just gotta keep that word before. Her, you know, put that baby to sleep with the scriptures. You yeah. know, put that baby to sleep with the word. Put that baby to sleep with the word. Let her hear the word go to bed. She gonna change change everything. All right, I'm going to close this out in prayer. Hallelujah. 
Yahuwah, the word, the Torah, the Bussorah has gone forth. In the name of Yahushua Hamashiach, and I give you praise. Yahuwah, I praise you for a Torah of truth, a word. You have given a word, Yahuwah. And I pray right now in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach that this word will not return void. Yahuwah, that those who you have chosen to hear this word would hear this word would meditate on this word, will have this word quickened in their ruach. Yahuwah, I pray that you would make up, that you would make it plain. Make it plain, Yahuwah. Open their eyes that they may see. Yahuwah, your people, and those of the other nations who have an ear to hear, Yahuwah, bring them in, graft them in, in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach. Now, Yahuwah, I thank you for those that are here. I thank you for those that are in this room. I pray that you would strengthen them as individuals, that you would reinforce your word in them, that you would make alive your Torah in them, yes. that you would help develop a spiritual discipline. Yahuwah, that they will understand the importance of serving you and spending time in your Torah, day and night, meditating. Yahuwah, I pray that you will continue by your Ruach HaKudesh to reveal yourself to them and reveal yourself to them in purpose, that which you have called them to do in purpose those that you have called them to reach in purpose, those whom you have called them to witness to. Yahuwah, I give you praise. I thank you for all that you've done for me, Yahuwah. I'll never complain. I won't complain. You've been good to me. I will not complain. Yahuwah, you've been so good to me. And I worship you. I praise you for your divine protection. I praise you for your divine protection. Yahuwah, I pray right now in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart would be acceptable in thy sight. Yahuwah, give your angels charge over each and every one in this room and over those that are of the house of faith, those who trust in you and Emuda, Yahuwah, comfort, keep, and protect them. And I thank you, Yahuwah. In the name of Yahushua Hamashiach, I pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Abba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, we good. <sighs> that was good, man. That was really good. That was good. Hallelujah. That was good. That was good. Where? <laughs> Torah Garden. Speaking the absolute truth. Yeah. Torah. Nation.